Hi all, Retro Tech Chris here again. Recently, my friend IBM Museum did a really nice video on the PC convertible accessories, and it really inspired me to get a CRT display adapter for mine. And if we look on eBay, there are a ton of these, all for a great price. Thank you, Computer Reset. I know this is your doing. So today, we're going to unbox a couple new old stock components, then we'll power the system up, and then we'll look at a few applications. Let's go. So actually, the first thing that I'm going to unbox is not the CRT display adapter, but an adapter cable, because we need a way to hook up that adapter to a CGA monitor, or in my case today, to an RGB to HDMI. So we'll go ahead and get this adapter cable unboxed, and the box is a little crushed, so it took me a little bit of time to get it undone, and you can see it's not in the greatest shape, but it definitely gets the job done. But once we open it, oh my, look inside. We have this little display adapter wrapped in all of this nice bubble wrap, and just look at it. A little bit of corrosion, but otherwise it looks to be in really great shape. So we have a nine pin connector on one side and a PC Junior style connector on the other. And here you can see it in two dimensions sitting on the desk. Just what we need to hook up the PC convertible. Now the display adapter did come with a manual. However, I think I can probably figure out how to use this without opening the manual up. We'll just leave it in its shrink wrap. But that's pretty cool that even an accessory like this has a manual to accompany. So now we'll unbox that CRT display adapter, and this box was much easier to open, and there you can see it, still in its plastic wrap inside of the box. It looks brand new. We'll get it set up on the desk here so we can take a closer look at it here in just a minute. The CRT display adapter comes with this nice little leaflet that shows you how to connect it. Unfortunately, I'm showing it to you in reverse order. Sorry about that. But in any case, this adds a nice little slice to the PC convertible, a nice slice of video display life. So let's go ahead and get it out of the plastic. We'll remove these foam squares and we can unwrap it, and then we can have a closer look at it. So let's get the cable connected into the slice. The PC Junior end goes into the slice, and the other 9-pin end will go into our monitor. And we're good to go. So let's get everything connected up. Installing the slice is pretty easy. You just hook it in and give it a little push. It takes a little bit of effort, but not before long, it's in. So once again, I'll demonstrate connecting the cable in. And once again, the PC Junior side goes into the slice, and then we can hook our RGB to HDMI into the other side of the cable. And with that, our connections are complete. Let's go ahead and bring this thing to life. So I'll go ahead and pop up the screen so that we can type on the keyboard here. And from there, we'll go ahead and power it on. Before too terribly long, MS-DOS boots, and we can load our menu program straight from a 720K floppy disk. Flipping over to video capture, we'll load up a few things here. The first thing I'm going to do is load the CGA game Card Sharks. There's the nice intro screen for it. And then we can see the game itself. We're not going to play through it, but I thought I'd show you at least one cutscene. And now for some real color. Let's load up the Area 5150 demo. Now the demo doesn't play perfectly. There are parts where the demo loses sync, but there are also several parts, if not most of the demo, which actually works on this machine. And it was never advertised to, but it does for the most part. And boy, is this impressive to think that this is being displayed on a CGA display on a 4.77 megahertz IBM PC convertible. It just really blows my mind. Just look at the attention to detail. It's really phenomenal. So that's what I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed looking at this PC convertible as well as the CRT display adapter. This is an absolutely great machine and I'm glad to have it in my collection. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.